Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the card cover I used to keep on my Kit Fox light. I was told I needed to <clears throat> tell people a little bit about my airplane here, or ultralight. <clears throat> it's a Kit Fox light. <clears throat> it was completed in 2002, I believe, by a previous owner. This here is a budge car cover and it is a number five. If you happen to look at there, I bought this off of Amazon. Hello, I guess I'm supposed to tell everybody about my 2002 Kit Fox light that I have very similar to the Badland aircraft which is still manufactured by Chris Stuhl in Minnesota right now and this one has had a few modifications over the years uh, one is I put a three inch longer control stick in it and this one does not have the foot brakes or heel brakes at this time uh, it still has handbrakes, and I did put a dual control on so that it could have differential steer, uh, braking. And I did make a friction lock for the throttle, which it just had a fixed one before. And I did put a uh, motorcycle phone mount in so I can use my phone on Advair to get a good moving map. My landing gear is Badland gear. Uh, it originally came with uh, fabric covered legs and bungee cords. And I don't like bungee cords and they were due, way overdue for replacement when I got it. So I put Chris's uh, from Badland's spring gear on, struts on here and they, this works really good. And I also put his disc brakes and five inch wheels. And I put five and a half inch aircraft tires on. I did have to space out the brake disc about three eighths of an inch to make everything clear. Uh, it has a Rotax 277 with a Tennessee propellers. Uh, wooden prop on it, and it is a 6028 prop. And previous owner designed this here little deflector scoop for the uh, head to help cool the engine a little bit. It makes a good 20 to 30 degrees difference in cylinder head temp. I don't know that it's necessary, but it's nice to keep it cool. And I did put VGs on there, just the El Cheapo ones from uh, Aircraft Spruce, if you can call them cheap. I don't know, they're the lowest priced ones they had. They're just glued on with uh, 401 Loctite. And then I made my own Lexan wing fences. And they're put on nut plates and screws. And on the end of the wing rib, to get a mounting surface, I used uh, Lexan angle drywall corner protectors to make the angles and then wrap the fabric around them. And it's all glued in nice and solid but this as you can see gives a nice look down the wing so you can watch for any structural problems but mostly to look out for bugs and mice and other critters getting inside the wing the kit fox light has aluminum flapper on skins where the badland has fabric which uh, I've been told is 
quite a bit lighter. And this airplane weighs in right around 250 pounds. And it could be, you know, can't put much more on it. And I also removed a turtle deck for access to the fuel tank better from the backside and also remove the belly skin for access into the tail for cleaning and inspection and then I removed the fabric back at the rear of the fuselage so that you can inspect the tubing and keep it clean so that there's no corrosion and you can watch for any cracking which is a known problem on many tube and fabric airplanes not that i've ever heard of any problems with these and the previous owner told me he modified the mount for the horizontal and raised it up as high as it can go yeah, and that makes it supposedly fly a little better i know i've done it on other aircraft and it does help bring the tail up and make them fly a little nicer and one interesting fact is when he recovered it he used the steward system and i don't know something happened and the tapes on the top side do not want to didn't want to stick and it was just along the tapes and they were coming loose and nothing wanted to stick. I tried everything that was recommended. On the bottom side, everything is fine, never touched it. But uh, on the top, it wouldn't stick. So I ended up finally to get the tapes to stick without recovering because the fabric isn't that old on the horizontal. I wanted to try to save it. I used uh, canvas cement and latex house paint and it seems to be standing up pretty good. We'll see how it does long term. And the rest of the airplane is covered in the polyfiber system as recommended in the old Kit Fox build manual and by polyfiber manual there is no silver coat it's just the uh, polyfill and the color coat over the top I do have a Badlands uh, steerable tail wheel I put on and that seems to be standing up really well As, and it does work really well too. It steers really good. It's not full pivoting, but it works real good. The only time you have, if you want to push it backwards, you either have to lift up the tail or put a tow bar on the tail wheel to keep it straight because it'll start getting hung up. I'm guessing that's. About all there is to it, it's pretty much just a standard Kit Fox light, except the engine was changed to the 277 from the 2SI. Good little airplane.